Yes, this meeting is being recorded. Good morning, everybody. Grace and peace to you from our Lord Jesus Christ and all the saints here in Central California. Come, me and the geese are coming to you here from my garage. Um, I was going to talk a little bit about what's been going on over the past couple of weeks because uh, I've been really rushed and not not really been able to to show you guys too much other than a lot of talking and uh, one tired dude. Um, so, uh, yeah, over the past two weeks, we've basically had to completely shut down our legacy network and migrate over to the new fabric. Um, that was a, a, an order from our CIO. Uh, he just wanted it done now. Um, the Extreme Networks was trying to lab this all up for us and make sure we were going to have a smooth transition. Um, but the CIO elected to just, uh, rip the bandaid off and uh, just do it all at once. So I'm gonna share my screen here and I'll, I'll kind of show you what, we, what we've been doing here. Um, yeah, you could share that one. Okay, so hopefully you guys can see this, what I'm looking at. This is basically what our, our network looked like. We had uh, um, our legacy network over here. Um, we had some uh, single, single home locations from out in the campus. Um, so it's a uh, not a huge campus, but there's, you know, 20, 30 buildings total. And uh, we had a lot of uh, locations out, out, out and about still that hadn't been moved over to fabric. And um, because it was gonna take a little more planning. Um, and then over here on the hospital side where it says fabric, that this is basically our hospital. Um, those switches are, had already been moved. They were dual home. And um, so everything was looking good there. Um, we had a mix of some, some of the layer three, some of the routing was being done on the new fabric switches. Some of the layer three was still on the old legacy core switch. And so we, we had a, uh, on the fabric side, it's an MLT. On the uh, legacy side, it was a lag link, aggregate link. Um, connecting our legacy network with our new fabric network. So he took the decision um, that, you know, we just need to get this moved. Um, we need to get it moved soon. So he gave us one week to move everything, um, all the campus locations, all the remaining network closets, which is what these, these three switches over here represent. Um, we needed to get those all, all off and onto the fabric. Okay, I need to close that map up so it doesn't keep telling us something happens. <laughs> there we go. Um, that was Intermapper telling me that uh, something went down, but uh, probably a UPS or something. Unless my phone starts ringing and then it's not a UPS. Anyway, I'm digressing. So uh, yeah, the first first the thing we were told is we needed to get all the legacy closets off. Um, now these these are all like a, a sad mixture of like OM1 fiber, different types of connectors, different type of, but they all come to a patch panel that's right next to this legacy core switch here in our data center. This top one is in our data center. This bottom one is uh, only does layer two. It's, it's down in the hospital basement. But these are the ones we were concerned about. We had to move these somehow. Um, so we're trying to find fiber patch cables to patch from this, this patch panel that was basically, you know, right next to this core switch over to these guys, which were in another, uh, another rack on the other side of the room. Well, we couldn't get them in time. There's no way we we're going to meet his timeline. So my suggestion was, and I didn't know if my boss would go for it, but she did. But I said, well, why don't we take a, uh, um, another just, We'll get a, because I had one sitting around, a switch that's just all SFP ports. And basically we'll set that up. We'll get it connected in over here into our new fabric. Get that all set up and get it attached. And then one by one with all these switches, um, we'll just take this guy and swing him over here. And that's what we did. So that was, 
not this past weekend, the weekend before. Um, we spent about 20 hours moving, uh, I want to say it's around 60 switches. Um, a lot of more daisy chains, so I mean, it wasn't that big of a deal, but we, we swung all these over to here. And uh, we thought, cool, we met his timeline. So all remaining legacy switches were moved over off of this, this new distribution switch into the fabric. So, okay, yeah, we're good. Um, part of that was we needed to move all the servers over too. So, uh-huh, well, we're gonna do the same thing. The switches that the servers are on, all we did is this. So servers and remote closets, they're all connected. So everything's been moved. Um, well, no, he wants the entire course, the, the legacy core network gone. Okay, so, <laughs> so now all of this past week, we've been trying to figure out how to get rid of these legacy core switches and move the remaining layer three routes over to these, the new fabric. So that's what we've been doing all week. Um, one by one, we've been taking these guys, um, this layer two switch in the hospital basement here. It's got a mix of, uh, you know, firewalls and routers that connect to our remote sites, our vendors, uh, a backup site. One by one, we've been moving them over to the new fabric switches. So that was step one. The very first thing we did is get all that, that stuff moved over and free up this switch. Also, same thing up here on this, our, our main course, legacy core switch, anything that was still on it, we, we were moving off of that onto uh, the new uh, fabric switches, either this guy or these guys. So we got that done. We got this one moved over. I mean, this, this switch, everything was moved off of it. So boom, we got no more layer two going to that switch. We don't need that switch anymore. It was gone. So come down to Thursday. This was the last, the last holdout is our, our main core switch. Um, so I pretty much spent 12 hours with the vendor on the phone, moving the remainder, remaining layer three networks over to the fabric switch. We had one last um, server connected to this core switch. It's a, a Cisco UCS part of our, uh, our VoIP system. We moved that over. Um, I plugged it into the switch here. So that meant that finally, once I unplugged that, we didn't turn this guy off, but what we did do is um, we disabled these ports going to it. So it's still sitting there off by itself. It's an island, just sitting there idling. Power's connected, nothing's running on it. No layer three routes, they've all been moved over. And this is the, uh, this is the configuration we're running in now. So um, uh, this, there's still some uh, legacy switches out here connected to this guy in our data center. And um, the uh, server guys are, are working really hard to go ahead and swing their servers off of those legacy switches onto these, these newer switches. We were setting, I was trying to set up ports for them in my spare time on Thursday. And uh, my boss came in on Friday, she had Thursday off. She came in on Friday and was continuing on with that. And I believe they got uh, all of it done that they could get done until the server guys ran out of cables. Um, because that was, the, that was the edict that was handed to them is within a week, they had to move all of the servers. And uh, um, yeah, they weren't ready. They hadn't ordered any cables, they hadn't, hadn't uh, hadn't had time to get anything ready. So they were scrambling to get that done. And uh, as of Friday, you know, I was off yesterday, so I don't know where all they got done. I'll, I'll find out on Tuesday because Monday is a holiday. So anyway, um, yeah, that's this is where we stand. Um, we, we are now completely off of our legacy network and completely on the new fabric, uh, Extremes Fabric product. So. Um, we, we have had a, a, a lot of like routing issues and just weird, like I've talked about, you know, switch failure or call it cause a network loop. So we're hoping that uh, a lot of that will, this will cure a lot of that because we enabled a uh, simple loop protection protocol on all of these switches. 
all of these switches. We, we made sure our spanning tree setup was correct on all of these switches um, on this switch. So we were in a stable place. Um, we shouldn't have any more loops. Um, now the next thing is any of these legacy switches that are out here in the campus environment. Uh, he wants me to uh, get an inventory of that and get, get the switches ordered that we need to to get rid of those. So uh, yeah, I'll be able to start doing some research on switches to, to find uh, what we can do to get, to get rid of those. So get rid of the old uh, legacy C5s and then we'll be completely on new technology out, uh, out where I work. So I'm still a little uh, burnt out from all that work. Um, probably put in close to 40 hours of overtime over the past couple of weeks um, doing all this. Um, close to 35, yeah, 35 ish ish. And uh, yeah, it's been I, I it's been taking a toll on me because I'm not as young as I used to be. You might not know it from lo looking at me or hearing me talk. So anyway, that's the situation, guys. I just wanted to bring you all up to speed with pictures so you can, you can visualize what I'm talking about and what we had to do. Real easy to move lines around, but uh, yeah, moving the actual cables, um, moving the layer three, um, and then making sure all the routing is, is communicating properly because it's, um, we set up VRFs on the new fabric. So we've got an IoT VRF, we've got a user's VRF, we've got uh, server's VRF, and there's a couple others that I can't remember. We got about five VRFs. And um, moving everything from one over here on the legacy, it was just one flat you know, routing network. Everything was, was all together in one routing domain. And now moving over to these other uh, VRFs, you know, different routing domains and making sure they're all communicating right. It's kind of given extreme, uh, <laughs> given them some growing pains apparently. Uh, they've done it before a lot of places, but uh, it's just been a, a challenge here at our location for, uh, for some reason. So anyway, that's where we stand. And I uh, hope you guys found that entertaining or informative. Um, by the way, the the, the uh, product I'm using to display this network, um, you know, these switch icons and everything, this is uh, it's a product called Intermapper. Um, it's what I use to uh, manage my network and document it. So it's my network drawing and network management tool all rolled into one. So on some of my other pages, which I don't have displayed because then you'll see my inside network. Um, you can configure the IP addresses of these guys. You can get, uh, you know, SNMP data from them, uh, you know, charts and plots and graphs. And it'll email you when something goes down, alert you. You heard her say earlier, system malfunction. Um, it'll alert you when things go down and uh, when they come back up through email or text or, or uh, just audible tone like you heard. So pretty good product, I like it. I've used it since uh, my last job. And uh, yeah, I'll post a link for it in, in the description below. Um, so if you guys wanna take a look at it, you can download a free version for 30 days and play around with it. And um, yeah, it's a pretty, pretty cool product. So that's all I got this week, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like what you saw, hit the subscribe button, the notification bell, if you wanna know when I uh, come up with more of these videos. And um, yeah, other than that, uh, let me stop my share here. There we go. Other than that, uh, so you can see my big beautiful face. We'll, uh, we'll catch you guys next week and I'm gonna go, I think, take a couple naps today. So thanks for watching everybody. God bless and stop. <laughs>